While behaviorism did a fine job of explaining psychology for a long time, it was eventually found to be overly simplistic and unable to explain the full gamut of human experiences. For example, most of us would agree that we can learn things by reading. Yep. How does this fit into the behaviorist model? And how can you become phobic of heights without ever having fallen from a height? CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, uses behaviorism as a starting point and then builds a cognitive element on top of that. This states that what we think also plays an important role and that we can actually create new associations by thinking. In other words, if you think about falling, this can create new neural connections as though you were falling and that in turn can lead to the formation of a phobia or to changes in personality. Now, hold that concept in your mind for a moment while we take a look at another concept. This one is called embodied cognition. Embodied cognition is a more recent psychology theory that says all of our understanding of the world around us comes from our bodies. This fits with the evolutionary explanation that our brains evolved to help us survive in our environment based on our interactions. The question posited to psychologists was this. When someone tells you some information, how do you understand that? You learned English growing up, yes, but what is it that allows you to understand English? Your brain doesn't innately understand English, so you must be translating that language into something like a machine code in order to process it. For a while, psychologists made up the term mentalese in order to explain this gap. But later, a more useful theory was put forward. Embodied cognition explained that we understand language by relating it back to our understanding of the world around us. When you hear someone telling you a story about walking through a cold forest, you understand that by imagining yourself walking through a cold forest, and this causes all of those relevant neural connections to fire as you think of the implications of that, relevant memories, etc. etc. And what's actually happening here is the areas of your brain are firing as though that story was really happening to you. If you put someone under an MRI scanner while you tell them about the time you went swimming, their brain areas will light up as though they were going swimming. And this is how simply imagining something or picturing something can create associations in your brain. If you're high up and you keep imagining falling off that height, then your neurons will fire at the same time as though you were falling off that height. This is enough to cause those neurons to wire together and create a strong connection, to the point where it's hard not to picture falling off that height. This causes a flood of neurotransmitters related to the experience of falling and, what do you know, you pass out in a sweaty heap. CBT is a technique you can use to create more positive associations and connections in your brain, and we'll look more at how this works later on in the series. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.